everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs if you're interested in private consultations look at the description box below also if you're trying to uh, support my channel I do have the pay my new patreon page uh, address on there on below the description box so you'll be able to find all my information on there anyways let's get into this reading this is going to be for the Virgo sign so um, this is moon, sun, and rising, okay? So let's get into your reading, Virgos. This is, um, let's see what spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of August 2017. I've been shuffling the cards for quite a while now. I feel this is going to be the last shuffle. Okay, one more. get into your reading Virgos okay so your first card is the two of swords the king of wands the six of swords and the seven of wands partners card is the world card the queen of swords the moon the ace of pentacles the general situation is the knight of pentacles okay So the center issue is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is you both, I mean, obviously Virgos are very practical. You're an earth sign. Um, but the center, uh, the center issue at the present time is either you're expecting or wanting communication from your partner or some type of openness um, in regards uh, to the stability or in regards to where this relationship is going. Okay? Now, you Virgos have the two of swords. The two, excuse me, the two of swords has to do with um, making a choice, basically, or being stubborn. So for some of you guys, you guys are not wanting to see things for what they are, or it could represent the fact that you're just not wanting to make a choice, regardless of what you see unfolding at the present time. Now you do have the King of Wands here, and the King of Wands could be a represent. You may be dealing with the Fire sign, so Fire sign would be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Um, they could be a, a little bit intense when it comes to passionate, uh, when it comes to desire, or when it comes to them pursuing whether it's a career, whatever it may be. It's kind of like they they go a little bit too hard. Um, or it could also be a representation of you. This is what excited you about them in the in the past. This is what, you know, kind of attracted you about them. Uh, either they approached you and told you like, hey, I'm very interested. Let's get to know each other. Like they were very blunt, very out there. And that's something that attracted you. Now, you have the six of wands and the six of wands is, again, having to make a choice or wanting to make a choice whether you should move move on move on or move away from this person um again i feel that it has to do the six of swords you know all the sword suit is a mental card so you're definitely being a lot in your head at the present time and you're trying to debate or trying to make a decision whether you should give up or whether you should continue uh the relationship but the seven of wands here the seven of wands is like you're the one that's always doing or you're the one that's always trying the hardest, making it work. At the present time, your partner, how they're seeing the situation, they have the world card. So there is definitely an ending to a relationship or some of you guys were dealing, in fact, with the fire sign that was actually married or that kept that from you. So what I mean by that is they weren't honest about it, basically. Um, because, and the reason why I say that is because the queen of swords is here. And right on top of it, you know, the crowning queen of swords is the world card. So the world card to me represents when we're talking about a partner, it represents a person that's either married or a person that is married to you. Uh, but they keep, you know, things on the low. And the reason why I say that is because the moon here is definitely clarifying that. So there's a lot of hidden intentions or hidden motives behind your partner, or the person that you were dealing with. And if you've been wanting to know or wanting to, uh, you know, debating whether this person is actually talking to someone else or whether this person 
I feel that the answer to that is a no, a no only to those that it doesn't apply the fact that you recently found out that that person was married or is married, okay? So for those of you that this message does not apply with the world card that they're married, it can represent that there's an ending cycle where they no longer want to be with you. The Ace of Pentacles is a representation of how they see you, how they view the situation, and how they're coming towards you. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is asking for a new opportunity, but the moon is definitely be hidden motives or hidden agenda. Like, they're keeping things from you. They're not being honest. They're not being uh, straightforward with you. So, let me get a clarification card for the moon card. Okay. Oh, yeah. See? Wow. Okay. So... I asked for clarification from the moon card and you have the devil. The devil is definitely hidden motives, shadow side, uh, you know, a very uh, sexually known person that either cheats or has no respect or morals when it comes to marriage and when it comes to, you know, anything that society would deem wrong, basically. So again, like I said, a lot of you guys are dealing with that at the present time. Now, if this message doesn't apply to you and you are, in fact, the one that's married, things are going to come to light. And with this, you know, with these things that are going to come to light, you're going to come to find out that this person either is taking something from you and these are the ones that are married. OK, and it could be a business. It could be that they've been smuggling money, like like hiding money away from you, keeping money away from you where you're going to feel like, where the hell did this come from? Like, I literally cannot trust you. I, it's like, you're, it's just going to take you aback because you're going to be, you know, it's going to boggle your mind. The fact of knowing that you've been married to this person and they've put you in a position where you feel like you literally have to even watch your back with them. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. That's the way it goes. But for those of you currently that are single, again, the same message applies. You may be dealing with an air, uh, sorry, with a fire sign, or you may be dealing with an uh, an air sign, and the fire sign is from the past. And dealing with this fire sign, just be aware and be mindful. Um, you know, if they if they message you or text you at odd hours of the day, uh, and they become like indispo uh, or unavailable to you during the evening or night, just know and understand that, you know things are not as they seem at the present time. So just be wary of that. And the reason why I say that is I wouldn't want you to, you know, fall into the traps of someone that is actually married and they're just being an asshole, you know? So anyways, I hope you like this reading, like, share, and comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you could get the newest updates and we'll see uh, from each other soon. Okay. Bye.